Top 20 blue fragrances. We're gonna get into this list of these amazing, versatile fragrances you can wear pretty much any time, any season, any situation. We're coming into the spring, we're gonna be heading into summer soon, and for me, this is when I utilize blue fragrances. I love how bright, invigorating, citric, woody, refreshing many of them are. And so this is my list of top 20. And as we get going, I'd love to hear about what you would add or maybe even your top five down in the comments. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and go ahead and give the like button a top 20 clicks if you can if you like the video. All right, here we go. We're going to start with some very inexpensive blue fragrances. I'm talking 10 bucks the first few, then we'll go up from there into the 20s, the 30s, and then we'll get up to some designers that you gotta pay out for, but are actually really worth it. So number one, this is probably my top pick for a cheap, versatile blue fragrance. This one is sweet. It's aromatic. I mean, this is such an insane pickup for right around nine or $10 on Amazon. This is a clone of Aqua de Joe Profondo. This is Belcam's uh, Geo Blue. Aqua de Joe Profondo clone. The only thing that's missing is that wet rocks mineral note from Profondo. You won't find that here, but if you want a sweet tonka bean, minty, aromatic blue fragrance, it's right here. Nine bucks, doesn't smell cheap, no alcohol, it's awesome. Next up, another one that you'll pay $10 for. This is an excellent clone of YSL YEDP. This is another one by Belcam. Uh, Bell Cam classic match why look how much i have used of this stuff i have i've worn this dozens of times and this stuff is awesome out of all the clones that i have of why it captures the sweet apple ginger and aromatic combo that three-dimensional magic that yedp does this one does it better than all my other clones which is insane but true classic match why all right, we're jumping up now to around that $20 price range for the next few. This one was one of the first clones, maybe the first clone that I saw of YEDP, and this was Latafa's first time out. They've done others since then, but this is Fakar Black, and it's it's a different take on YEDP. It's got a little bit of Y Live in there, maybe a little bit of the original Y. The aromatics are different. The sweetness is different, but it's still like 80 to 85% similar to Y. If you like Y, you will like this one, Fakar Black by Latafa. Really good juice, and I've worn it a whole lot. All right, next up. This one is a clone of a $300 niche fragrance. I'm talking about Elysium by Raja Parfums. And this one, for $22 or so, gets very close to that fragrance. I'm talking about Fragrance World Imperium. And again, I've put a pretty good dent in this one. This is probably, you know, with Elysium, you've got citrus, black currant, and grassy vetiver. This one's got a touch more of the grassy vetiver. And, uh, you know, that grassy vetiver leather kind of more of the bitter notes hang on longer than the sweetness. But if you like that aromatic vibe of Elysium, this one's a great pickup for like 22 bucks. All right, next, we're going to hit another clone of a Y fragrance. This is a clone of Y Parfum, and it's in that low $20 price range. This is Maison Alhambra's which is a branch of Latafa, Yeah Parfum. And this is super close to Y Le Parfum. The only difference is Y Le Parfum has a very sparkly orange note in the opening, and this one's got about 50% less of that. And then it goes into the rest of the fragrance, which is very, very similar. Again, $23, $24 or less Yeah Parfum by Mason Alhambra. All right, another clone of Raja's Elysium. 
This one is by FOMO. It's an extrate de parfum. This one is balanced almost exactly like Elysium between the sweet fruitiness and the grassy vetiver. This is FOMO Parfums, a Fraghead's Asylum. This stuff is liquid gold. I can't wait to wear this more this spring and summer. It's got that sweet fruitiness. It's got just the right amount of the grassy vetiver. It's got great performance for an Elysium clone. FOMO, a Fraghead's Asylum. All right, next. This one, let's see, where should we go next? This one is uh, a clone by Armoth, and it's a clone of Dior Sauvage. It's sort of a blend of the EDT and the EDP. If you like that aromatic pepper, bergamot, sort of, you know, citrus, spicy, and then a lot of fresh spiciness and a lot of ambroxan. If you like Dior Sauvage, this one captures the essence for right around 30 bucks. I'm talking about the Pride of Armoth, an excellent clone that blends the EDT and the EDP. And next, this one is a clone of a very expensive Bulgari fragrance. I'm talking about Tigar or Tiger. And this one, out of all the clones that are out there, this one many consider to be the very best, or at least in the top two. This is about a $32 to $35 fragrance. This is Afnan's Tarathi Blue. Afnan makes some very good, high quality, great performing clones. And this one is no different. Tigar is sort of a, uh, a very grapefruit forward, very aromatic blue fragrance. It's a blue fragrance with niche sensibilities, Tarathi Blue by Afnan. All right, next, you know, prices change all the time, so it's going to get fuzzy here for the next five, six, seven. These are all in that sort of $35 to $45 price range. Many people often put this fragrance in the category of blue fragrances, and I kind of get it. I kind of don't, but I'm talking about, of course, Rasasi Hawass. It's basically an aromatic, aquatic, bubblegum fragrance. This stuff is awesome. Great performance. It's a compliment beast. It's sort of like Invictus with Invictus Aqua sort of mixed together. Such a great, great pickup. Rasasi Hawass. It's a hype monster for very good reason. Uh, I absolutely love this stuff. It will fill a small room in five minutes. All right, next. This one's very unique, and not a lot of people ever talk about this one, but it deserves more love. This is sort of like if you were to take something like uh, Bleu de Chanel and add the fresh iris note from something like Prada Lome, then you would get this right here, Dunhill Century Blue. It's basically a blue fragrance with iris. There's been a few like Prada has done, I think one of the ocean flankers had iris, but that fresh invigorating blue vibe along with iris is a match made in heaven. I don't know why more designers haven't done it, but this one does it for less than $40. This is a beautiful fragrance. I don't love Blue de Chanel. You won't see Blue de Chanel in this list. You will see some that are, you know, in a very similar vein. This is one of them plus iris. Dunhill, Dunhill Century Blue. All right, next. This one is a very gorgeous, citrus, aquatic, fresh, spicy fragrance. This is very similar to something like Versace Signature. Uh, something like that mixed with Chanel Allure Homme Sport, which is very similar to the Versace. This one is a blend of the two for around $35 to $40. It's an excellent lemon forward blue fragrance. I'm talking about Masoni Wave. Kind of an aquatic lemon take on a blue fragrance. Super versatile, very fresh, very invigorating, and the price is absolutely unbeatable. All right, this next one. This is, without a doubt, one of my favorite blue fragrances hands down, and it's cheap. It's a $40 fragrance for 100 ml. This stuff is pear, black pepper, leather, blue fragrance. That's all you need to know. Pear, that sweet, fruity pear, along with 
the spice of black pepper and some suede or some leather. This stuff is magical. I'm, you know, two thirds through with my little bottle. I got to get another bottle. This is just coach for men. Maybe I'm only half through with this bottle. Coach for men. I love this stuff. It is so good. It's, it's unique. It stands apart from other blue fragrances, but this is a must own as far as I'm concerned. Coach for men. And right behind that, I'll mention one that is very different from Coach for Men, but it's in the same line. This is Coach Platinum. Many people were putting this fragrance in their, like, you know, top three fragrances of, I think it was 2022, whenever it came out. Coach Platinum is basically uh, Dior Sauvage with a dusty vanilla and pineapple on top. Coach Platinum, this stuff is incredible. All right, next, we're going to go with one that is very similar to Blue de Chanel. One of the reasons I don't own Blue de Chanel, I don't really like overly soapy fragrances. Even the Parfum is just a touch too soapy for me. So if I want that vibe, which maybe two or three times a year I do, I just grab this one. This is Missoni Parfum or Parfum. It's excellent performance. It's like 85% similar to Blue de Chanel, and uh, the price is amazing, like 40 bucks for 100 ml, maybe 45. Missoni does that price range very well. All right, next up, this one's different uh, in that it's a blue fragrance with orange and rhubarb at the top, and that rhubarb carries throughout the fragrance. If you like rhubarb, you'll love this fragrance. If you don't like rhubarb, you'll probably hate this fragrance. I'm talking about Lacoste Loam Intense. It's a sort of sweet orange rhubarb blue fragrance. There's a good bit of woodiness in there as well. It's just, it's so unique. It's so good. It's something that I really am only in the mood for about once every two or three months, but I'm glad that I have this whenever I am. Lacoste Loam this is often in list of sweet fragrances that you can wear in the heat. This is really a great match for that kind of a need. All right, going on up now to maybe the $45 price range. We're looking at one of, again, my top three blue fragrances of all time. This is a sweet, aromatic blue fragrance. It's got tonka bean for rich sweetness. It's got some orange in the opening that sets it apart from a, a lot of blue fragrances, but it's also got this minty, aromatic heart, something a little bit like YEDP, but it's, it's much more minty, that fresh, spicy, aromatic vibe and a good bit of sweetness with that orange. I'm talking about Rocious Loam. One of my favorite blue fragrances, definitely one to check out if that sounds interesting to you. This is one of the best $45 fragrances you can buy, period. All right, next, we're heading up to about the $50 price range for 100 ml. I've just got this little, I think 1.3 ounce or something like that. But this is one of my favorite, probably top five blue fragrances. This is basically a blue fragrance with some mysterious smoky incense. Good bit of sweetness, good bit of freshness, super versatile. I'm talking about Versace Dylan Blue. This stuff is awesome. I bought a little bottle because I didn't know if I would like it enough to wear it a lot, but I'm probably halfway through with this little bottle already. Versace Dylan Blue. This is good stuff right here. All right. We are now moving on up to the, you know, expensive fragrance territory. This is like the 90 to $150 price range. Next up, I'm going to go with one that I still love to wear probably once a month or so. This stuff is electric. It's still probably my most complimented fragrance of all time, period. I'm talking about just the original Dior Sauvage EDT. Performance monster. Projection monster. Compliment monster. Love it or hate it. A lot of people say they hate it but it's still one of the best-selling fragrances out there. It smells so good, so electric, and people notice this fragrance more than just about everything else that I own. This stuff is magic, Dior Sauvage EDT. 
And next, probably still my favorite blue fragrance of all time, period, Y-E-D-P, sweet apple with ginger. You've got geranium and uh, you've got a, um, a juniper, a, a very sort of uh, aromatic heart that does something three-dimensional with those sweet notes in the opening, a good dose of Ambroxan. It's a fuzzy, sweet, aromatic blue fragrance. I love this stuff. Y-E-D-P, still my favorite in the Y line. I've smelled all of them except for Elixir, and this one, you cannot beat it. People notice it. It's powerful. It's a 12-hour fragrance. This stuff is absolutely awesome, and I'll tell you a little secret. If you do half of your body YSL, Y-E-D-P, half of your body coach for men, that is a combination that has never failed to get me a compliment. It's mesmerizing. It's absolutely captivating. Y-E-D-P. And finally, number 20. This is a uh, an indie clone house that does super high quality clones. This is the only thing that I have from them. I'm talking about Parfums Vintage. They do very high-end clones with lots of naturals, very expensive ingredients. This is a clone of Roja Parfums Elysium, but it's like a 10 to 12 hour clone of Elysium. I'm talking about Revolution Del Homme Soir by Parfums Vintage. This stuff is Elysium with a double dose of grassy vetiver. I'm not always in the mood for this, but whenever I am, you spray this stuff on in the morning and by eight o'clock at night, you are still pumping with the Elysium DNA Evolution Del Homme Soir. So that's been 20 blue fragrances and they're ranked kind of in the order of price, but you know, if you pick up three or four of these, you don't need 20. This is ridiculous. Nobody needs this many blue fragrances. You pick up even two or three of them that are on, you know, the range of maybe some are more fresh, some are more sweet, some are more aromatic. You're going to cover every situation, every season, every temperature, and I think you have a pretty good setup for blue fragrances. But I want to know down in the comments, what are your picks for the best blue fragrances. Thank you so much for watching. I am Justin, and this is Siage Scents.